ஆல் இண்டியா ரேடியோ குடியரசு திருநாளையொட்டி மாண்புமிகு தமிழ்நாடு ஆளுநர் பன்வாரிலால் புரோஹித் அவர்கள் நாட்டு மக்களுக்கு விடுக்கும் செய்தியினை இப்போது கேட்கலாம் சிஸ்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் பிரதர்ஸ் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு வணக்கம் ஐ எக்ஸ்டேண்ட் மை வார்ம் கிரீட்டிங் அண்ட் ஃபெலிசிட்டேஷன்ஸ் டு த பீப்புள் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு ஆன் த ஜாயஸ் ஒகேஷன் ஆஃப் த செவன்டீன்த் அனிவர்சரி ஆஃப் த இண்டியன் ரிப்பப்ளிக் ஆன் திஸ் ஒகேஷன் ஐ விஷ் டு பே மை ட்ரிபியூட்ஸ் ஆல் தோஸ் பிரேவ் சோல்ஸ் ஹூ சஃபர்ட் அண்ட் சாக்ரிஃபைஸ் ஃபார் த நோவல் காஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் கண்ட்ரீஸ் ஃப்ரீடம் ஃப்ரம் பிரிட்டிஷ் ரூல் லெட் அஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் அவர் கிரேட்டியூட் டு ஆல் தோஸ் ஹூ எனபிள்ட் அவர் கண்ட்ரி டு மூவ் ஃபார்வர்ட் ஆன் த பாத் ஆஃப் ப்ரோக்ரெஸ் த மேக்கிங் ஆஃப் அவர் கான்ஸ்டியூஷன் வாஸ் த ரிசல்ட் ஆஃப் சஸ்டெயின்ட் கன்சல்டேஷன் அண்ட் ப்ரொஃபோன் டிசிஷன் மேக்கிங் ஓவர் எ பீரியட் ஆஃப் த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் between 1946 and 1949 and it was on january 26 1950 that india became a republic we are all celebrating the 70th anniversary of, of our republic today on this day let us resolve to be true to the ideals of the founding fathers of the constitution who dedicated their lives to the nation the democratic character of our national framework has made the common people the masters of our destiny india is one of the few countries where universal adult suffrage was guaranteed in the constitution right from the beginning without any discrimination of education or gender the fact that the constitution makers reposed complete faith in the common people for electing the governments at the center and the states speaks volumes of the future that was envisioned and the greatness of our civilization which has continued flourishing all through history for thousands of years tamil nadu is home to a rich culture an ancient language and friendly people the state is endowed with good infrastructure and a work culture where people work hard and work with efficiency and sincerity Tamil Nadu secured the second rank in the growth innovation and leadership index for economic development in India for the second year in a row Tamil Nadu's high rank was an outcome of its impressive scores in health improvement digital reach education attainment and investment attractiveness the union ministry of personal public grievances and pensions recently released good governance index wherein tamil nadu has topped the good governance index among 18 big states in the country the state ranked among top 5 in six parameters like public infrastructure judicial and public security public health environment human resource development and economic governance tamil nadu is the second largest state economic contributing about 8.4% of india's gdp tamil nadu is also one of the few states to reduce poverty at a rate faster than the all india average the achievement of the state in the field of education are exemplary the composite education development index places tamil nadu at the number 1 position the dropout rate is extremely low nearly 49% of the children who finish school education take to higher education tamil nadu by virtue of its excellent infrastructure in higher education is well placed to become a model for other states to follow all this requires enterprise innovation commitment and hard work with the joint coordinated support of the central and state governments institutions in tamil nadu can soar to greater heights making the state the educational hub of our country on a historic occasion like republic day we must undertake an assessment of our national scenario and ponder about the future of our society it is my belief the howsoever good our past achievements accomplishment may have been there is much that remains to be done During the year Tamil Nadu marched forward 
with appreciable achievements. The government has formed five new districts, seven revenue divisions, 25 new revenue talukas, one new revenue firka, and six new revenue villages. The Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu took direct responsibility for attracting investment to Tamil Nadu by visiting UK, USA and Dubai in September 2019 and by chairing the High Power Committee to expedite single window approvals. The Global Investors Meet held in January 2019 was a major success attracting rupees 3,501 crore worth of investments, providing employment to 10.5 lakh persons. Till date, 53 projects have already commenced. Commercial production and 219 projects are at various stages of implementation. After the global investors meet, 63 new MOUs have been signed, committing an investment of rupees 19,136 crore with employment potential for 83,837 new jobs. The important scheme, Nadathai Vari Kaveri, rejuvenation of Kaveri by effective curbing of severized pollutant was also announced. Government of Tamil Nadu got sanctioned for nine new government medical colleges during the year. On the 11th and 12th of October 2019, Honorable Prime Minister of India Sri Narendra Modi and Honorable President of the People's Republic of China, Mr. Xi Jinping, held discussions at Mamalapuram. It is to be mentioned that both the leaders greatly praised our police department for making excellent safety arrangements for this event. The state remains peaceful, maintains law and order. The major occasions like Vinayagar idol immersions, processions, Athivardar festival, etc. went off peacefully. The government of India has brought in a number of useful initiatives for the people of India. These include Digital India, Skill India, Stand Up India, Start Up India, Make in India and Amrut schemes, etc. Implementation of these schemes with zeal and vigor by the state government in coordination with the government of India will enable the expansion of employment opportunities, paving the way for economic development. There have been a number of important governance measures in the past where Tamil Nadu has shown the way for other states. Among these, a special mention needs to be made of the nutritious midday meal scheme, the old age pension scheme, the maternity assistance scheme, the chief minister's comprehensive health insurance scheme, Amma baby care kit, free house site pattas, Amma two wheeler scheme, distribution of laptop computers, etc. It is important that we utilize hard fought freedom for the benefit of our people. Poverty should be eliminated. Employment opportunities must be available to all. Educational opportunities should be expanded liberally. The health and nutrition status of our people should be safeguarded. There should be justice and fairness in society and eradication of corruption. The true essence of democracy should be understood in the sense that the common people are the masters of the nation. Each of us should think about what he has done for the nation and not look at what the nation has done for him. This is the spirit we need to promote among the people, particularly the youth. Administration is expected to work with total transparency, highly disciplined and corruption free. I expect all of you to work to the maximum with total dedication and leadership in all the fields of Tamil Nadu. People all over the country are celebrating the joyous occasion of our Republic Day with ceremonial splendor and cultural gaiety. I extend my heartfelt greetings and best wishes to the people of Tamil Nadu for a glorious future. May the spirit of our constitution fill the air and the devotion to the nation be the life 
breath that sustains and inspires us nandri vanakkam jai hind jai tamil nadu kudiyarasu tirunalayotti maanbu migu tamil nadu aalunar banwari lal purohit avargal naattu makkalukku vidutha seidhiyinai iduvarai ketteergal indha uraiyin tamilaakam idhe alai varsaigalil oliparappaagum tamil cheidhi arikkaikku piragu kaalai 7:25 manikku idam perum